we're doing today is going to be doing an extraction of sperm, possibly from the epididymis, which is the tubing around the testicle, or from the testicle itself. So we have a few options of where we can get the sperm. Once we've got an adequate number of reasonably live sperm that we can freeze, then we're done. When we work with, with fertility centers, especially West Coast Fertility, you know, we get involved in the evaluation of men whose sperm counts are either suboptimal or if their sperm counts are absent. You know, they really have no other options. What's nice is here in this one facility, you've got the procedure done. We immediately have access to an excellent embryology lab. We're in contact with the embryologist during the procedure. We talk about the quality of the sperm, how much we've got. We're happy with what we have to work with. It's adequate for freezing. And then we can go ahead and freeze it. It never leaves the building. There's no transfer issues. There's no issues of you know, mislabeling and things. Some of the problems that people have heard about and been in the newspaper in recent years, you know, really doesn't happen because there is no transfer. There's no problems with that issue. This pink fluid here is a little media that we use to transport the sperm. So if we are successful at aspirating some, they'll be sitting in this little nutrient bath and then get looked at in the embryology lab be able to see how things look. So all we're going to do is make a very small opening in the skin, maybe a quarter of an inch, half inch in size. And we're going to take this needle and direct it into the top of the epididymis, which is the tubing that is around the testicle. It carries the sperm from the testicle. Slowly, we're going to see if we get any cloudy fluid, which would indicate the presence of sperm. And we'll put into this little dish. It's got the same sort of media in there. Now that's going to go right across into the lab and onto the microscope. And let's see what we've got. So there's some sperm in there. Not a lot of them, not moving so great. But uh, definitely, so we know the communication between the testicle and the epididymis, that first part of the tubing where the sperm mature at least partially open. Oh yeah, there's a wiggler. Very good. When you can get sperm from the epididymis, that's preferable because some of the maturation of the sperm happens there. The sperm produced within the testicle, they go through some division changes as they go from immature to mature cells, but then the ability to move, the ability to fertilize happens as they get transported through the ducts. And obviously, they're not going all the way through the ducts and out in the ejaculation, which would be full maturation. But if you can pick them up in the tubing, they're going to be of better quality. So finding them in the epididymis is a really good thing for him. So this is really nice. We can work together here, and I know exactly what he's seeing and, and what he's looking for. And then the very end of our procedure today, we can tell the couple you know, what the status of the sperm looks like. They can really make an informed choice about whether they want to go ahead and stimulate egg production and, and take the next step. For a lot of couples, this is really the first big hurdle, you know, do we have something to work with or don't we? Oh, there's a decent, that one's really moving.